Hey guys, I'm just going to take a minute and do a couple demos really quickly. Um, if you guys have any questions about what I'm doing in the demo, just ask in the group chat. I'll also be doing a live Q&A toward the end of tonight. I just want to quickly show you guys the dusting mitt demo. Um, so to use the dust mitt, I rub it together like this. It works on static charge. So I rub it together like this. And then I have this gross um, air vent return. So I'm going to just get my fingers in there. And I love that it's a mitt because you can fit into any spot that you have dust that you normally couldn't reach. So just take that, dust is on there. And then I just keep going. Dust the whole thing. And then when I'm all done, I have all this dust on my mitt. I take my mitt over to the trash can. Oh, trying to do this one-handed, sorry guys. I take my brush, I brush all the dust off. And then this is just ready to go for next time. Hey guys, I just wanna to talk to you about one of my favorite products. This is the laundry detergent. Um, it does about 100 loads per bag. Um, it's got no phosphate, no chlorine, no bleach, no fillers, no optical brighteners, no anal test, no animal testing, dyes, or fragrances. So this is what it looks like when you're doing laundry. There is soap in here, I promise. <laughs> All the suds. Um, as you can see, it is there's no color, no dyes, no nothing. This was my old detergent, and I put these in here um, August, August 16th. This still has not dissolved. It's still got all that gross color, fragrances, all that's still in there. Um, I do about two to three loads of laundry a day, depending on how gross my husband gets at work and what me and my kids did that day, arts and craft wise, if we went outside and they got gross. Um, I typically only use one teaspoon per, oops, per load. I just stick it in an old one that I had in the bag and just dump it in my drum with all the clothes and wash my clothes. I'm gonna show you guys my mop demo. Um, height wise, you, so this is um, like a telescopic, so you turn it. Um, I like to do between my nose and my chin, so then I just tighten it back up. Um, these are the two mop pads that come with your mop. So we have yellow sun dry, so this is like to basically to sweep your floor. And then we have blue water wet, so this is your mop. So how I use them is I just Put this down, and this is how I put it on my mop pad. As you can see, oops, as you can see, I have a little extra here. This is so that you can fold it up and you can actually do your baseboards. You can dust your baseboards with this. So I'm just going to really quickly go in figure eight motion, sweep my gross floor under my fridge. to save all that stuff on my dust or on my so I'm going to take my, my soft bristle brush and I'm just going to basically brush it off so this is amazing for pet hair um, and then I'm just going to hold this take my uh, damp mop pad and I'm going to do the same thing. Um, I actually have a tile one for this floor um, that I've 
it does not come. You have to buy that one separate. So I'm just going to use this one on this floor just to show you. Goes under all my cabinets. Figure eight motion. And then what I do to clean this is I just fold it in half, take it off. And then I rinse it out. Uh, this part on the mop is awesome because if I had to real quick go grab something, it can hang on my counter. Oops, you can't see that. It can hang on my counter and it is not touching the floor here. So it doesn't have to lean and then fall over. The other nice part is so that it doesn't fall over if you lean, it's got a little adjust piece. And now you can lean it and it will not um, fall over. Also, I love that the height can be adjusted because my kids don't really mop or sweep, but they try to. Or if you're really tall, it will also work. This ball on the end is a scuff ball. So you can just take this and get scuffs out of your floor. I don't have any. Hey, I just want to show you guys a quick demonstration with the Enviro cloth and my window cloth with some Vaseline. Um, I am going to smear some Vaseline all over my window. I have three little kids, so this is what my windows look like almost all the time. Uh, all I do is take the Enviro cloth. Uh, this is damp. I just take my damp Enviro cloth, wipe it all down, and then I take my, in, uh, my window cloth, which is dry, and I just shine it up. And I go around and I clean my whole house like that. It takes me two seconds to clean a super yucky window. Hey guys, I wanted to show you my raw chicken demo. Um, I have here a Pro Clean um, Rapid Protein Test. This is just a swab. Um, it is the same thing that they use in the backs of restaurants to test for um, protein and cleanliness. This is my Enviro cloth. Uh, this is the same cloth that I just used to clean the window um, with the Vaseline all over it. I have not rinsed it off, so it still has all that goodness on it. And then this is my raw chicken. I'm going to take my raw chicken and wipe it all over my dining room table. Put this back in the bag. I'm going to take my Enviro cloth and just do one swoop. Put the dirty side up. I'm now going to take my ProClean swab and swab the area that the chicken was just on. So on these protein swabs, green means clean, gray or purple means contaminated. So I'm going to break this. Shake it up. That is green. So that means that it is not contaminated. My surface is clean. So I really like this test um, because it shows how much bacteria that this Enviro cloth can pick up. Protein is actually smaller than bacteria. So if it can pick up all of the protein off of my dining room table, it can pick up any kind of bacteria that is in your home. This is my favorite demo, um, but it was just not quite good enough for me. I have three little kids who eat at this table, and me and my husband cook dinner every single night. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to take this cloth, wipe up um, some raw chicken in my kitchen, and then come to this table, wipe this table off where my kids eat, and that raw chicken be transferred from my kitchen counter onto this table. So I decided that I was going to take this chicken, dab it all over, dab it all over my cloth. 
sleeping chicken on my cloth now. And I was going to wipe my table with it. And then I was going to test my surface. That is still green. That means it cannot, your EnviroCloth cannot transfer what is on it from one surface to another surface. And just so you guys can see that this is not like a, like a fake test or anything, I will stick it in this raw chicken bag and show you what, oh, what contaminated color looks like. It is already turned purple. 